Hello, everyone. Good evening. Can you see our faces and hear our voices? Funky green screen. Because if you do, then it, it means that everything's working. <coughs> and if everything's working, then we're not going to waste any more time, actually. Good evening, everybody. Right, say uh, s some, someone. Okay, so hello, greetings. Well, like, I think, I think they... See faces, hear voices. Thank you very much, Nerd6. That's all we needed to know. Yeah, I think they can both hear um, and see us. Yep. So, guys, welcome to the... Um, Mixed stream today, Train Sim World Mastery slash Train Simulator Granger Heartland. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that actually, I've not seen the Granger Heartland yet. Um, yes, Kansas City to Topeka. Um, actually, I've not played it all that much. It's um, the first time when I didn't have much time to actually go and play it properly to be prepared. So we'll, um, not only we will familiarize ourselves with the new route today, but we'll also see how I'm going to deal with um, playing a scenario for the first time without any preparations, which I guess is a, a nice type of test this should after, be fun. after almost 10 months of being here. I've got enjoyment mode on. So guys, first of all, Trends in World Mastery launched a couple of hours ago. Um, just give us a second, we're starting the stream, uh, I mean the video feed, um, I just need to start the, uh, the game first um, while it's loading. It's also going to be streaming to the main page of Steam and all other platforms, which is nice. Weirdly, I cannot see um, our number of viewers at this point, it's still at zero, but I guess we'll just give it a few minutes and we'll There's refresh. people chatting, but they're not actually watching the stream, I think. Oh yeah, that, 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 yeah, that explains <laughs> then, yeah, that explains it. But they can still hear us, I guess they just lied. <coughs> Um, so yeah, the first thing, Trends in World Mastery, launched just a couple of hours ago. It's a new way for you to engage with the game. It's a new way for you to um, see how you progress. But it's also a new way for you to enhance um, the, the existing routes that you have, to enhance your experience with something, you know, different. And um, um, the basic idea is that we introduced challenges. Um, these challenges are very similar to the challenges that were present in the community challenges, same as community challenge pretty much, but on a different scale obviously, on a more personal scale. Um, there's a bunch of challenges for, that we have for each route and we will be un and you will be unlocking, as you go through these challenges, you will be unlocking various, um, let's switch to the game, just give me a second, live game. Loading, yeah. And they'll change it back to the game on the thing because we yeah. just changed it back to TS the other day. Yeah. Which one was it? Hide it. Oh, game capture, it. game capture, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's game capture. It's a game capture? Yeah. There we go. Yes, yeah, so similar to the um, community challenges. Um, not exactly, but more, as I said, more an uh, individual personal level. You will get an opportunity to unlock dioramas and scenery access at the very beginning. Um, so these are two things that we added at, at, at start. Featured routes that include the mastery are currently GWE, NTP, Long Island, and um, Main Specit. Main Specit Band. So the three routes, that, all four routes are included in Train Symbol 2020 base game. Whether it's we're add actually adding mastery to um, additional routes in the future, time will see. Um, that is the hope. Yes, it depends on the feedback we'll get, depends on the information we receive, the data that we receive, the, our doctor life um, team receives. So this is for those who have, have some concerns, this is V1. Um, this is very early, this is literally two hours after release. This is a long-term project which has been worked on for a very long time by a um, dedicated team here at Dovetail. <coughs> not related to the development team, just to be clear. Not entirely, well, at least. It's mostly the Dovetail Live team that have implemented this feature, isn't it? So the team um, who are um, basically web developers. Um, so please do not um, think that we took Matt's time to do all of this. No, that's not entirely. Um, some of it, yes, but not all of it. So it's, as I said, it's a long-term project. Uh, what you see now is going to change, and it's it's going to evolve. Um, every day we have a bunch of uh, people who are working on it. So um, expect changes. So how do you access mastery? To access mastery, you have to be logged with uh, logged in the um, Dovetail li with your Dovetail Live account. Some of you might have might have skipped it at the very beginning. 
when you sign up for the game. This is, by the way, this is available on all, all platforms, so it includes PC and consoles. You have to enter or register, or either log in or register, through this screen that you have um, in front of you, through this menu. I'm, I'm simply going to put in my de login details um, as we go. Um, but you must have a Dofty Live account to access Mastery ch uh, Challenges. Without it, it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to straight away log into my account. And if you guys, as we're going, if you have any questions, please do ask, because we're going to spend the first half an hour or so troubleshooting everything for you, just making sure um, you know what's going on. So as we can see, the first menu, you have four routes in here. Great Western Express, Mines, Pesaban, Long Island Railroad, and Northern Trans Pennine. These are include, that include Mastery. This is the main menu where you can see the progress of your challenges in game. So, for example, I will go into, let's say, Mount Spessard Barn and click <coughs> it. I can see the progress on both of my challenges here. Um, so, Tier 1 unlocks the diorama, Tier 2 unlocks the um, various scenery assets. No, don't sp don't spam sp sp spam my email, please. <laughs> no, the password was a load of dots. Now the pals. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's masked, but actually it's just dot dot dot. <laughs> it's funny because I get spam all the time from people thinking that I can add some roots all the time, every He's single just, day. He keeps so. telling me to stop sending the emails, but anyway, um, tier one, as I said, dioramas, tier two, senior assets, for the purposes of this particular stream. And just to show off how powerful we are, I don't, I don't have any of these I've actually completed, but I have everything unlocked. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a secret. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, these are, you know, mainly gameplay-focused challenges. So, well, all of them are gameplay-focused challenges. Gain of our levels on the BR-146, one, one, um, travel this and that um, distance, um, complete tutorial, services, etc., etc. So, they're all based on what you do in-game. Uh, TVG, how to get to this menu, you logged in but can't find it, so if you um, restart the game, this menu only comes up the first time when you boot the game up. Once you're actually into the main menu yes. of the game, the only way to get back to it is to exit the game and come back in. Yes, um, you're exactly right. So there are people who um, I, I've mentioned who've, who have not do, do not have an account but still play the game. You need to have an account and you can um, sign up through the game, be it on... Um, what is the banging noise in the background? I think it's my um, it's my fingers or my hand banging on the table, I guess, because I'm because I'm expressing myself while speaking. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's go straight into the game. I'm going to show you all the um, scenery assets. Um, and um, by, by the way, when you um, this menu, uh, you can see it when you start the game. But if you close it, you have to restart the game. And this is something we we we're, we're working on. This is this is going to be. Uh, um, um, Change, I suppose. Yeah, there's, um, a, there's a number of enhancements that we're looking at making, and this was a case as a um, the initial version of the screen. Yes, there is another way of um, viewing the uh, your progress and the challenges. It is by following a, uh, a link. You can either follow follow that link. It's pre uh, we've posted it on all of our social channels and forums, but you can also do it through trainsimworld.com. So if you go to the um, main page of um, train, train if you go to dot sorry scrap that if you go to Dovetail Live um, website which is at live.dovetailgames.com then you go to hobbies and choose trends and world then you will see on the top right um, there's like a tab with uh, which says uh, news challenges community roots locus and mastery if you click on that uh, on mastery you will be able to track your progress um, in the browser and what's the, the best thing about it is you can track your progress while the game is going so you, you're, you're driving and it will be updated um, um, what's the words as you go I suppose um, so you can see the progress constantly changing for you um, you cannot see on the screen what I'm seeing but um, there is a website so um, yeah, we're just going to go straight into the game. So there's a couple of questions come in. Uh, the overall stats link dovetail only shows mastery progress. Will it ever drag in main game progress? Uh, not at the moment. So at the moment, what you're seeing is mastery data um, uh, that's that's being uploaded um, on there. So your your local game profile at the moment is just there. Whether we add something that lets your game, progr your game profile get uploaded is a separate thing. But at the moment, it's being used for mastery stats. 
Uh, and someone else said, "Is what if you've already completed some of the tasks? Do you unlock the challenges automatically?" Actually, you can't because the the way the the challenges are defined. If you look at the wording of them, they very carefully you can't have already completed them because, for example, it's gain five levels from wherever you are now, gain another five levels, as in as opposed to get to level five. So all of the challenges are to do more. Now, where there's things like complete a tutorial or complete, um, uh, for example, that you might have done it, you will have to do that tutorial again, I'm afraid. Um, but um, it's like complete 10 services just means complete 10 more services. Um, if you've already completed all the services, complete 10, just go back and do 10 of them again. It's from this point on, mastery stats start, and it's capturing the data now as you play the game. This is an, um, as a step on from, if you remember the community challenges, one of the big bits of feedback was, well, what about personal challenges? That's kind of what this is. This is the next iteration of the beta for the community challenges, and now it's being based on having access to the data that you've got. Yeah, so, thank you, Matt. There are some people saying that there's issues with um, Xbox One and consoles. They'll track us um, stock at zero. <coughs> we pro I mean, it's day one. I'm not sure if there's um, actually a problem, but we're definitely going to look into it and see how common this issue is. Make sure you raise support tickets and talk on the forums. Um, people are watching, and um, we'll take a look at it. Indeed. Um, it's, yeah, it's... Yeah. You it know, should be working fine, you, but um, we'll, we'll certainly help you. Go to our forums or submit a support ticket or just even, I don't know, don't, don't email me, but maybe tag me on the, on Twitter or something like that and um, we'll we'll see if we can help you. Um, and we'll, we'll actually investigate where the problem is um, bigger than it seems. Anyway, let's go straight to Diorama. So let's see, you can see at the very bo bottom um, of the screen we have these two things here. Um, these two ho hotkeys. Um, one is for Diorama, one for the overlays which are scenery assets. So dioramas. What do we have here? Mine Specet Bun, a rural and depot were the original two. And we have Mine Specet Bun, brand new, no Trans Pennine, Long Island Railroad, and Great Western Express. So these will be shown in your train selection menu, in your service mode and timetable. Um, every time. And you will be able to before you start playing, you will be able to see how how your beautiful um, train looks on, uh, on this beautiful background. So let's say we want to choose mine specified bone. And by the way, Matt, please correct me if I'm wrong. You can use any diorama on any route. Is that right? Yeah, the, so the, the diorama, the diorama you use is just on the menu. Then what route you use is relevant. So you can now put if you now picked a class 45 on um, Northern Trans Pennine to drive, the 45 would be sat in this main specified yep, barn scene. Exactly. These aren't bits of the route, these are essentially dioramas that give a feel of the route using some of the assets from the route. Exactly. Um, so yeah, we're going to choose mine specific <coughs> barn. All I have to do is to click on it, and if this if, um, small icon pops up, uh, then it means that it's selected. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to timetable. As you can see, the diorama is already in the background. So um, let's have a look, I don't know, VR146. So you can see that our RAM is, um, is over there, and um, if I want to go back, um, I want to change the RAM to something else. For example, I think most most people like the Long Island one, so um, let's have a look at that one. You forgot to select it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So you can see it. Um, in the background, oh, there's a plane. So they are um, custom made, Matt. Right? They're mm -hmm. they're made completely from scratch. They do not exist <coughs> anywhere on the route. No, we just use the route assets to create something because dioramas are really quite tightly focused um, areas, and they just designed the the art team went together and just tried to create something which creates the, represents the flavour of the the routes in question. So if you're a fan of the Long Island Railroad, then this is going to be something you might want on your uh, on your uh, as your diorama for the uh, for the game. So yeah, I've swapped to um, Long Island to choose the uh, M7, and as you can see, it fits perfectly with the background. So yeah, I mean, um, let's go for each of them just in case if you want to see them um, before. This is the one I have. The Great Western one is the one I have on my machine. Oh, that's very good to know. Is it? Is it your favorite one? Yeah, I quite like it because it's got the the road over the top, the graffiti. It just looks yeah, it looks it's really cool. real. Yeah, it's cool. 
Yeah, the only thing, like, it's a little really bit... Real. These menus are a little bit blocking the view, but, um, yeah. Okay, so the final one would be the North Trans Pennine. I'm sorry I'm showing everything with the M7, but I just don't want to go back and forth all the time. So there we go. Well, I hope that was enough. Let's move on to the overlays or scenery assets. Are we still not showing the number of viewers? No, we're not. No, we're not. Never mind. Uh, some people have been asking about liveries and things like that as rewards. And there's the sort of positives and negatives about liveries being rewards. Um, so at the moment, trying to avoid that kind of thing so that where liveries are made available, they become just part of packs that, um, that, that are relevant to them rather than you having to do extra work to get these things down. Well, that may or may not change in the future. Um, but for the moment, uh, dioramas and scenic assets are some of them. If you've got other ideas for things that you think would be cool as a reward, then, um, then by all means, let us know. Um, we're, we're interested to hear what you think would be cool to see in a reward. Yeah, sorry guys for the little pause. I was trying to restart restream to see if that um, fixes our um, viewership count because um, I think we're the only ones actually watching it, sort of. Um, so we have overlays four in here, one for Nor Northern Transpen and Long Island Man Specific Binding Grid Western Express. This is Reading Festival. It's a right. music festival. Oh, just music. It's a music, music festival, festival because Reading Festival's copyrighted. Oh, it's oh. a it's a music festival. Right. Okay. All right. It's a music festival at Reading. Um, we have a construction site, a main special barn, because nothing else is happening in Germany but construction. We have Long Island Railroad and a car meet, because nothing else is happening in uh, Long Island apart from car meets. And we have hot air balloons. Because nothing's happening on um, in the nineteen eighties England apart from a hot air balloon show, I suppose. So the car meets are actually quite well known in in Long Island. Um, yeah, yeah, they're generally in a place called West Hempstead, which is not on the route. But we thought we'd um, you know adapt things a little bit. Yeah, mini versions of Mad Dimitri and DG stuff on the routes. I think mini versions of me, Dimitri and other DG stuff on routes. That's, that's a I, cool I think idea. I think Matt will be strongly against it because he only wants his own mini version. Yes, yeah, it's true. Just me in a pink T-shirt. Yes, yeah, so um, we're actually going to show you one of them. Um, these are sometimes, you know, you have to play to find them. They're um, in a little bit tricky positions on some of them. Um, they're not all over the route as you might have imagined. So we're going to go with the non transparent one. We're going to load a service and we're going to actually follow to the place where these balloons are. So the other thing is that um, you may or may not. You know, say for example that you do the reward, that you do the mastery, and you get the Long Island Kami. But when you see it, you think actually I don't like it for whatever reason. Then you just go to that screen. You can turn it off. So you have the ability to turn these things on and off. Um, uh, so you've got control over that stuff as well. Yeah. Sorry about the loading. Uh, it's actually because the account is new. We're gonna have to. Um watch the video and actually cancel it and go back to the menu so give us a few seconds please um while we're at it shoot questions at guys um if there are any issues if that it's actually not working for you if it's not counting please do let us know because I've, I've definitely seen some some people um um talking about it in the or uh, on our discord so we just want to make sure that um, we know about these issues. key thing is to make sure you're logged into dovetail live um, and to make sure that um, that your system obviously is online. Yeah, but pretty much uh, the, fir the very first thing you should do if you think you have a problem, you definitely want want to check whether you are logged <coughs> into the um, Dovetail Live account. So I'm going to exit this. Uh, Alex, uh, CSX Heavy Hall is part of the base game. So if you own TS2020, the TSW2020, then you actually already own C um, C uh, CSX Heavy Hall. It's part of the package. Uh, it's not available on non-PC platforms, but if you're looking on Steam, then if you own TS World, it's part of that package. Uh, David Mitchell, we're going to be looking at the Kansas City route in a little while after we've um, had a quick play with Mastery. Mm -hmm. Just looking through questions. How's the editor for Tracing World going? And is it out? It's not out yet. It's still going. Don't have another other, any a bigger update, I'm afraid, but. Uh, Oops, the other way. So Marsden. We're going to spawn here. We're going to do a little trick and we're going to find these balloons.
Let's give it a give us a half a minute or so before we load. Yeah, and guys, um, for those I've I've mentioned at the beginning of the stream, for those um, who are planning to stay if with us till the end of the stream, we're going to be looking at the TS, the, the new TS20 route, um, Granger um, Heartland. This is coming out tomorrow, um, so it's a pre-release stream for you to familiarize yourself. So the first thing, oh, you can see one over there actually. There it is. It's flying. Yeah, I need to do, go to the other platform. I think. Actually, it didn't matter, so never mind. Uh, will we get around to adding more content for Long Island Railroad? Potentially. It's, it's one of the options being discussed uh, all the time, is looking at all of the existing routes and what additional content can be added to it. I know there's a lot of um, desire from people to get the, the brand new M9 trains uh, or the older M3s. Um, so it's all stuff that's being looked at all the time to see what we can do. Where is it? Uh, Where is Sergey, it? do you remember what um, service that number, what numbered service that is? Is that 86109 or 89118? Sounds like 86109. Which is a known issue. So there it is. One of them. I think there should be another one somewhere around. So there's a well. couple of balloons um, that f sort of fly around up above you, and there's there's one actually on the yeah uh, on, on the ground on of. the ground, getting ready. Yeah, there it is. It's a big one. It's the same size. It's just closer. As you say. <clears throat> no, you can't climb into the balloon and you can't fly the balloon, I'm afraid, Raptor Engineer. Balloon train, tr balloon sim world confirmed for 2035. There it is. There it is. So, as you can see, guys, these are not. Um, you know, some incredible gamey features that are intended, you know, to change your experience massively. This is still 1980s England as it was before. Just detail, a little bit of detail enhancement. At the moment, we um, the tech we've got uh, is based on tech that allows us to add scenery into scenarios. And at the moment, it's only one tile. But later on, we might be able to do them for multiple tiles and things. So again, a lot of this stuff is, it's a new feature. Let's put something out there and add a bit of detail to the roots and... Uh, and then you, you you all can come back and say, hey, what about what about this? What about that? And we can we're looking forward to hearing from you. Yeah, exactly. I chose this position to stand because I think there should be class one on one coming soon. Oh no, never mind. Okay, never mind then. Got that wrong. Why do I think that there will be a uh, one on one? Okay, never mind. Sorry, yeah, you guys. will see the balloons in bad weather. So if you're going to run bad weather, then I would turn off the tile. Yeah, so you can you can switch them on and off at any point in time. If you don't like them, feel free to ignore them. No one's forcing you to do anything. You don't even have to be logged into your Dotel account to play Transom World, so it's all up to you, um, your choice. MDH Games, that's right. I had a whole bit of spiel planned to talk to you about hot air balloons, but uh, then I realised it was just a bunch of hot air, so I won't bother. <laughs> it's pretty good. Should um, we look at the music festival? Um, yeah, sure. Um, I'm just not sure. Um, spawn at Reading Depot. Spawn, spawn Depot? at Reading Depot. Okay. It's really easy to find. Okay, sure. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, just on, as a spawn on foot, for, yeah. Any time? Uh, I don't know. Some sometime we can see. So lunchtime ish. That'll do. And you want to go all the way to the other side of the route. If you just click, go and sit there and go that one. That's it. Train care depot west. You want a ghost train in TSW? How how would you imagine that working? You want to see if people fly balloons in the snow at night with high winds? They do, and they're really good at it, as it turns out. 
Uh, will you ever add failures to Roots as random scenarios? So failures is a complex topic because um, quite often if things fail, then massive changes have to take place You know, um, in the real railway that actually require people to... Um, you know what I call wetware needs to get involved. Brains and people need to get involved with all of their requisite skill and knowledge. Trains get taken out of service, and it's it's there's quite big impacts for things. You don't just swerve to avoid it, it like you went in other games. Um, but there are cases where fail uh, failures can be temporary, and that might work. So there's a strong desire to do failures and um, and faults and things. It's just getting that right. So there we are. You can see the screams. And shouting of, um, of festival goers, music festival fans. Yeah, if you head up to the other end, we can see the stage as well. So, as I said, guys, it's uh, these are changes are fairly minor. Um, they're just to enhance your gameplay experience. You're still driving trains as you drove trains before that but it definitely you know provides something new just something new not much oh look at that beauty can you guys hear the game sound now so you're saying that someone was saying there's no game sound and i noticed it was muted i mean we can definitely hear it so it's either muted or um Something is um, going completely wrong. So track workers near the tracks is something that's happening in more and more of the scenarios that the gameplay team are creating. Can you guys hear the music? I definitely can. I mean, it is only background music. <laughs> so that's the stage, but I can't go any Keep further. Going. I can't go any further. I'll go around the other side of the depot then. Are you serious? Yeah. The like stage is over there, there somewhere. I thought you wanted me to go all the way back. Oh, that would have been just mean. I'm not that mean. I think I know the track that it's playing right now. Hope not. Class 800, yeah, Class 800 would be good, but the route would need a fairly significant update um, to enable, enable the overhead wiring. There's a stage over there, look. There it is. You'll get a better view, actually. If you start with yeah. a loco, you can then use the 8 camera and fly around a bit better and see more of what's going on. But there's uh, there's quite a bit going on over there. It's, it's quite interesting, and there's audio to go with it, obviously, as you can hear. So... It makes it's, me question... It's, are, it's a bit different. Are we actually playing a train simulator? <laughs> no, we're in a walking simulator at the moment. David Bellamy simulator. Um, yeah, guys, let's check um, your sound. Cause uh, sure do you higher levels take more needed. points per level, or are they all the same? So once you get beyond about level, so it's kind of easy at level 5, up to level 5, and then it sort of gets harder, and then it's sort of level from that point on. Cardio sim world, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I hope, guys, that's enough, really. Um, much, not, my else, not much else to show here. So let's go back to the main menu and we're gonna um, exit the game. If you guys have any questions about this, please shoot. Please, um, please tell us. Um, uh, ask skill shop us. in. So eighty six one oh nine. I'm aware of the issue. I've actually fixed it. It's in testing at the moment. And uh, there's another one eighty nine one one eight. I think it is or eighty eight one one nine. One of the two. Um, we fixed that one as well. So there's there's um, there is some updates to main specified service mode currently in testing. If I've missed anyone's questions, and I know the answer to that question is yes, because I saw someone saying, why haven't you answered my question? And then when I went back to see who it was, I forgot who it was and can't find it again. Um, so, uh, yeah, if I've missed your question, fire it up again. 
Yeah, um, for those, uh, I forgot to tell all the people who, who are watching through Steam that we're actually gonna switch to the other game now. Um, but it should stream to the Trains and Worlds page as well, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we're, we're just waiting with until the TS20 loads, because we're gonna be having a look at the new US route. Hans, I said we've got no updates yet on um, or announcements to make about steam locomotives at the moment. Definitely want to get them done at some point, but uh, the, um, the the list of things we need to do is tremendous at the moment. So uh, steam locomotives will come at some point, as will trams and narrow gauge, I'm sure as well. TJ Vile. Is that what it's called? TJ Vile? I thought it was TGV. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, just gonna give us a second while the uh, TS20 is loading. Uh, as a reward, could you, add, you could add station art. Do you mean like posters and things like that, Daniel Christopher? We have thought about that as well. Um, some options for how you can add detail into station areas with um, additional artwork or maybe even a plaque with your name on it or something like that. Allow you to personalize the route a little bit. Mm, yep. Free roam with signals and switches unlocked. Actually, there's uh, it's not quite as straightforward as that because of the way the dispatcher works in um, TS World. Um, however, that is another option that we've been looking at. Station CAD sounds good. Yes, so... I actually had a discussion today about trying to get the studio updates kicked back off again, uh, Miller, so hopefully we'll um, get some traction on that. It, the, the challenge really is is finding the right topics to talk about in the right detail and um, so forth. It's very easy for people to misunderstand something as um, it, it, that's written, so we've got to be very careful to make sure it's clear for everybody what they're saying. Uh, are the rewards usable with all characters in case you want to do the easy level? Yes, if you create a new profile um, uh, and uh, as long as it's logged into Dovetail Live, then it will upload. Um, the same is true because it's multi-platform with Mastery. If you upload, if you work on your PC doing some stuff and then you decide to go over to your console in the living room and play on your console again, as long as it's signed up to Dovetail Live, then you should find that um, all this stuff is um, it's all contributing to the same um, data set. So you can you can flick between the different platforms and so forth and should just work fine yeah sorry for the for the uh, for the way you guys oh okay it's loaded never mind so Kansas City Topeka we're gonna have it we're gonna we're gonna have a look at two of the scenarios depends on the time really we're gonna we're definitely gonna play one and um, we're gonna look at the other one, but they're too long for the whole stream, so um, the, the second one we'll have to cut at some point. Um, oh yeah, sorry guys, of course you can't see the game because um, cause it's not chosen in the OBS settings. Is there a way to do it automatically, Matt? I think if we add like another game capture here, I suppose, we could just click on it and that would Possibly. work. Possibly, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll start with the industry standard. So f first of all, about route. It's 67 miles long, from obviously Kansas um, City to Topeka, very 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 busy uh, um, railroad. It's actually at one point in history it was the third busiest railroad in the U.S. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was um, established back in 1855, so quite a while ago. So it's, uh, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, Kansas City is actually a very railroad. Um, city because it was built in these times where um, it was built along like many cities in the US they were built along the railroad and it was one of them one of those cities um, it features um, as you can see on the key out over here it features this um, beautiful skyline but also has very interesting um, what are they, skyscraper tall um, granary Depots or, or, or something like that. Yeah, right. so the, the things for, for granary um, and the, So they're fully featured here as well. So let's just start I think we're gonna be very close to Kansas City actually when we begin here So um, a couple of questions so sure, um, no. other things that have come in so coming with the ability to import routes from train sim to train sim world I'd say that was highly unlikely to happen the two games work extremely differently 
Uh, can we have Tyne and Weir Metro as another guy asking for Sri Lankan railways? Um, Rebecca, if you want proposals for routes you'd like to see and trains you'd like to see, go on to the Dovetail Live forums. Um, there's a suggestion, a suggestion forum on there and write as much detail as possible about what's going on. We do look in there and uh, uh, as well when we're looking for ideas and what, seeing what people want. So uh, that's the best place to, um, to document your idea and explain why you think it's such a cool thing um, so that we can, um, uh, we can get that information. Flying Scotsman, this is a DTG, it's a, it's a our route, we made it. Um, and regarding the forums and all that, Tyne, Tyne uh, and Ware Metro has been proposed a long time ago. I think the thread's been there for like two years, so... Yeah, I don't know what else you can propose, really, besides from just contributing a couple of posts. So, good morning, engineer. We need to get our locomotives to Armadale Yard, siding 016, and couple this locomotive to the cars where the rear locomotive will become the lead for most of the journey. Now this is, um, I was actually a little bit, it, it was difficult this morning for me uh, trying to trying to navigate through the yard. It, it definitely wasn't an easy task, but um, um, we'll try. Um, oh, okay, guys, please make sure to tell us if the in-game sound is working. I'm gonna make it a little bit louder, but I'm not sure if it's actually working. Yeah, just let us know, please. Should we just take a quick scroll around the map? Yes, I will. So, Kansas City. Roughly. Roughly. There's lots of industries and sidings all the way along the route. Really interesting. I think Lawrence is around here, and this is uh, Topeka. So, as you can see, it's, even Topeka is quite busy. Any updates on station display boards and cabsway in TSW? Not at the moment, Daniel. It's Lawrence. And Kansas City. So, um, but you'll get a chance to look at it. So, here we are. Let me find that skyline. Where is it? Where is it? There, there it is. There it is. That's what um, everyone wanted to see. So, okay, our task, stop at Armadale Yard siding 016, so where are we now, where are the siding, so this is us, over here, and this is the siding where we need to go, so all the way here, and I apologize guys if I'm going to be a little bit slow, but um, it's not an easy thing to do. So we need to connect to this line here. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you pull forward go. out to the road on yeah, the right. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna. We're probably gonna join this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So for that we need. Yeah, this is okay. Okay. Now that one needs changing so the blue line comes across. That's it. And just keep clicking where the blue yep. line doesn't carry on. That one. No, that, no, that's it, that one. Keep going. There that we one. Yep. This one. Sorry. Click that one. There so we go. Keep yeah. follow, just keep following the yep. blue line down. You'll probably want to do that one and then you can come back up that way, I think, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So we will go over here, then we will reverse into here. Yep. Yep. All right, let's do it. You, you just guys keep chatting away. I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be <coughs> fighting with this locomotive a little bit. Let me put my second earbud in. <coughs> I, think, I think we're mostly set up already, so we have to go all the way there. Uh, is the GP40-2 different from the Locos and the GP40-2 pack? Don't know the answer to that question, actually. Other than uh, what is required for it to be a Union Pacific GP40-2. I 
Let's just change junctions to keep the blue line going. Siding 16 was it? Um, so 16 is this one. Uh huh. Okay, I need to go to the other line. Never mind. Let's do that. That. And there we go. That's no, that's old. 17. There we go. That's it. <clears throat> Will there be another TSW route for Christmas? Well, if there is, there'll be announcements nearer the time. Keep an eye on the usual places for updates. There's always content being made, but it does take time to make, so bear with us. Regarding textures, guys, I think it's just simply because of the um, new settings that we have. I have some saturation increase, I think. You give him toys, he plays with them. Spanish and Portuguese routes. Like I said, Katrina, pop over onto um, the Dovetail Live forums and, uh, you know, what routes and what bits of those routes, what trains on those routes, what do they do, what, what's great about them, that kind of thing. It's all really useful information. Can we hear the horn? Good enough. Bell. There you go. Horn and bell, folks. So, um, stop at Armadale Yard, sorting one, um, one six. Couple the cut off cars to the front of you. We'll set the lights up, Raptor, when we get going. So it's going to be quite a trip. <coughs> if you go back to the main screen, you can see down here you're going the right way. So you're all good. I think it's predominantly Union Pacific in this um, pack, Raptor. Yeah. I think it's um, SD70 and GB42, I think, the ones that they have in here. I'm not mistaken. I think it's SD70 and GB40. Yeah, SD70 and GB40, yeah. I think it's an SD70 ACE, isn't it? If I remember rightly. want to slow down very lightly. So it's one three four, okay. <coughs> I 
for auto racks, centre beams, tanks, all sorts of stuff. Not good. Oh, was it a stop and approach? Yeah, it was a stop and oh. approach. Never mind. That's why you should always play before, but I didn't have time. Not this time. Right, I recommend changing the switches now to set our path out. Alright. Couple. So are they actually coupled? Uncouple and recouple. Uncouple and recouple. Yeah. Okay. The whole thing, I suppose. Yep. There we go. Yep. Interesting, it's not picked up. Yeah, pull back and then come back in again. Just buffer up to it, it should auto couple. Right. It does say front, doesn't it? Yes, we're on the wrong end. Wrong end? We're on the wrong end. That's what I thought. So what is the way what is the um So we need to uncouple, pull forward, run round and come back up the other right, side. Okay. Well that makes sense actually. So if you want go ahead and uncouple from that. What a calamity! <coughs> and then pull forward back out to the end yep. of the yard. I'm not reading the chat. Because I know that there are all F's in there. Yeah, this is the back. We've gone in the wrong way. We we're just proving that that wouldn't work, you see? Test passed. Alright, so we'll need to go here. Danny, take your fails somewhere else. <laughs> I, th I think they will forgive us. Uh, they know that I'm not too familiar with the uh, American American stuff. Is road seven to, uh, six fifteen? Sorry, good for us to use. Yeah, fifteen looks good. So this is the one that we used. Yeah, the next one and, uh, That's it. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 
by the no schedules on the main spare site. Actually, as part of the update to fix some of the um, services that have problems, um, time schedules will be in the next update to it when that gets through. Like I said, that's in QA at the moment. Because of the way the game was being upgraded at the time, it wasn't possible to put the, sched the time schedules in when main spare site was coming out, but I've now added that in. For, for those people who are joining us on the um, Steam stream, if you guys are um, seeing us for the first time, um, we are running the new, um, brand new route for TS 2020, which is coming out tomorrow. This is a Kansas City to Topeka, and it's a brand new route by, um, by Duffel Games, so it's not made by any third parties. And um, this is the very first scenario that we're showing. It was going quite well at the beginning, but... Um, we ran into some operational um, problems, and what we're we're in the process of fixing them right now. Uh, with Union Pacific, this DLC won't be on console because this is on Train Simulator, not on Train Sim World. So this is PC only. How much will this be when it comes out? I've, I'm, I I'll have to check. I, I would assume it's the same um, price. Yeah, pounds. Uh, same price as any other route. Usual route um, price. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. In fact, I'm going to check right now. Uh, Max Almighty, can you give us a hint concerning the approximate release of head bobbing? Soon, very soon, or not so soon? Uh, it'll be at some point in the future. You asked. <laughs> Almost that. Run one road up. Um, fifteen, siding fifteen. So sixteen. Yeah, that was the one road. Yeah, you were up. Absolutely right. So, where are you? Oh yeah, you were right. Yeah. yeah, that's it. There we go. You should see as soon as you go forwards, it'll come up on the HUD saying 016. six. There you go. So anyone here played with um, Fishing Sim World Pro Tour um, and are using the mastery on that? It's been out for probably a month now on Fishing Sim uh, Pro Tour. Almost there. Crunch. All right, stop at uh, middle number three. All right, I'll handle the radios. Thank you, path. sir. 
Go ahead. Okay. Show task. <clears throat> That's an important information, isn't it? Kansas City Yard Siding 19 parallel with uh, 191. Okay, let's go and have a look at the. Um, if you start back to back to the player, centre player, and let's follow the path west and see where the blue line takes us. Mm -hmm. So there's, you need to click that. Click clicking those so they keep the blue line going down. Now kick the ones that follow the blue line. And um, I guess at some point down here we're down with. Um, okay, we should be good to go now. <coughs> you sure. Yeah, I think you're going to get stuck on a red, so the line is actually blocked, I think, at some point. Around yeah, here? So that you, you, you're going to get stuck at a red further west, east than so that. So shall I just proceed now? Yeah, just go for it. Just uh, be aware that you're going to need to stop at some point soon. Can I <coughs> in the right, no, we're going in the wrong direction, never mind. Yeah, you'll need to go backwards. Or stop and change cabs. You center your reverse. I said, no, press control minus and change cabs. That's it. You're good. You're good. <coughs> uh, it's just the GP40 2 and the SD70 in this one, Union Pacific Rail Fan. No plans at the moment on all articulated double stacks, uh, 70015. But I do like the idea of that actually. What is the maximum speed here? At the moment, Charles 15 says, miles per hour. Yeah, but Shanza says 3 miles or less. That's for coupling up. Okay. Not 6 or whatever it was that you were using, you smacked into the wagons there. Um, it was calculated. <laughs> Okay. Bad things happened. Let's try a different scenario. Interesting. I wonder how. Alright. Alright, sorry guys, we have a little bit of, um, <laughs> of a problem here. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. We're, we're gonna go straight to the next scenario. have to double check that you have do you have an idea Matt is this um, our my fault or uh, I don't know this is else? literally the first time I'm seeing the route so uh, I've got no nothing to base it on so I'm looking forward to having a play myself I, I'm really hoping it's my fault to be fair all the switches weren't set so okay Uh, that is a possibility. So, like the next scenario. Oh, sorry, guys. I forgot about the um, video. Um, our last duty tonight is to take a local train to Lawrence where we'll sort them and finish for the night. So, these are the silos that we were talking about at the beginning. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quite impressive, aren't they? Yeah. 
and let's talk about Lawrence reverse. So where is it? It's 31 miles from here. And this is this is where we are. So we're starting at Topeka. Starting at Topeka and going on to Lawrence, which is in the middle of the route, roughly. Where was the headlight here? What oh, was special here, about yeah, the route yeah. that made the team want to make it? We at one point were looking at this as a TS World World project as well, Felonius, um, uh, oh, because it is just genuinely it's a really interesting route. You've got for a start, you've got Kansas um, on the eastern side of it. Um, Topeka is uh, Kansas and Topeka are such well, you know well known um, places in rail you know, and names in railroad history. BNSF Burlington Northern Santa Fe originally was formed out of the Burlington Northern merging with the H's and Topeka Santa Fe. So there's, you know, you, you, you've heard these names before uh, in, in significant uh, for significant reasons. Um, the the line itself has got lots of um, industries along along the, the thing. So whereas your, your typical American pass through, um, you've got sort of yards either side and not a great deal going on in the middle because they, they're just for traversing long distances. This has got um, uh, lots of stuff going on along the route. So it feels a little bit more like a, a local line. <clears throat> but there's also lots of um, pass through freight going on it as well. So it's quite varied. Um, if I remember rightly, it also is, is see either side, you've got a river um, either that you, you're near as well, for, for it, it follows the river, um, <coughs> in fact there it is over there on the right, um, and at one point I think you even crossed the river, so it's, um, it is quite a, a different route. Yeah, yes. this is Union Pacific, Jason. Mad. The correct headlights. How? I don't know why your ditch lights aren't on. Actually, they were on. <coughs> yeah, we just want to, like, we have half an hour. We'll, we want to try oh, no, and show no, you as much of the route as we can. There's no passenger. Um, oh, this is a freight line. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so. We've hit J. That's the yeah, thing. that's that's what toggles that switch. That's what I did before. Doesn't seem to turn it on, so I don't quite know what's going on there. We will ask the dev team after the stream. That's the rear lights. Yeah, but uh, yeah and if you look on the back panel. Behind you, up on there, should be a switch for number lights. Front number lights, that should turn your lights on at the top. Classification lights, if you look outside again, those should be... No, Loco doesn't even have classification lights. You can see everything. What happened with BNSF DLC not being available outside the USA? That's still the case, 70015. This is Union Pacific. Shift J. Number lights on the back panel, yeah, but is there a big boy in the game? There certainly is, Jason. There's also FEF and Challenger. Um, there's uh, lots of big steam in the game. 
In fact, there was a route released recently with Big Boy in it as well, wasn't there? I can't remember the name of it now. It was a mile post simulations route. Mark, I remember. Are you sure? How recently? Relatively recently. Someone in the community. I mean, I understand. What we'll, we'll say. You're I can't old. remember the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played TS1 myself in such a long time because my PC's broken. Oh, they may only go on when you hit the horn. So yeah, if you go out like outside, there you go. There they are. They're ditch lights as opposed to um, cross. Um, they're crossing lights, not ditch lights. Essentially, wasatch. That's it. Wasatch. That, that's what I thought. Because I thought that you know, they were activated with the bell, but for some reason, but they yeah. usually trigger on the horn. Yeah, wasatch great. Yeah, that's a recent route. Wasatch uh, great. Yeah. yeah, that's a recent route. Can we go outside so people can see more of the route? That's where we started. I can't remember the name of this building, but it is quite um, quite a famous building. Good enough view? Too far? If you just do it on a two view so that it follows the train, then people can just see more of what's going on as we drive. Sure. We haven't got cab signaling to contend with, so it's not too bad being outside. What do you guys think so far? You've not seen much, but it's just a reminder, 67 miles, so it's pretty long. And considering the speeds um, for the American freight, it's, um, it's going to take a while to cross. Yeah, it's definitely a bit different, isn't it, Schnauzer? Mm. As you can see, it's it's quite nice. It's it's a different pace of scenery as well compared to something like a mountain pass.
Can you buy the shirt on the train simulator store? Yes, it'll be on Steam. It's on the it'll be on the Dovetail Live store, and you can buy. Um, and you can also go through in yep. game as well. Uh, BVR Train Spot. Uh, when will the shirt come out? Um, it's coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Exactly what time? I I cannot say, but it's going to be um, somewhere afternoon UK time, which is now GMT. Uh, not hundred percent sure about whether I'm going to be streaming later, bad guy. Hopefully, we'll see what time I get home. And have dinner. Camera. My bad. Yeah, that's good. Mirrors don't work, said you. Um, just that they're not supported in the game. Um, there's extra computing resources that at the moment um, are being used to make train simulation work, which is quite um, quite a heavy, hefty load for the uh, for the game. So I sound losing sound a little bit. I think I've lost my sound. Me, but how's the merch is the route going to be? I think it's going to be twenty four ninety nine. Yep. The usual UK, the usual route price, so twenty four ninety nine yeah, pounds. A uh, train simulator is built on its own custom engine, bad guy. When you press something and the sound disappears and your heart sinks. Oh no, what's going on now? And it says, Did you really want to save? Oh. Phew. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how many freight cars. It looks like a, recent, a decent selection of standard stuff, Schnauzer. Thelonious, I wasn't actually part of um, the team that was uh, working on this, so I'm not sure what they uh, what they gained in the way of reference access. Uh, class ones generally don't, though. So it's just a local down the line, I think. Pretty much. Wait, what did you say? Has Dad yeah, just jump on the back of the train? No, I think the end of train device somehow has managed to get itself on the other end because of when we... Uh, oh no, could, that was a different scenario. It's a different scenario. Yeah, I'm not sure why there is an end of train device showing up on there. It should be.
It's got a decent speed running on this, that's for sure. It's not boring. Sorry? It's not a boring. There's nothing uh, There's nothing boring about 25 miles now. What are you talking that's about? Yeah, I remember the end line. It's quite a lot of slow sections uh, in there. Any idea when we get studio update for TSW? Um, at some point, hopefully. We did have a meeting about that today. I'm trying to get them back working again. Yes, and um, a little spoiling, I guess, but um, I wanted to do a small interview with Matt as well about, do you remember, um, the, this forum thread that we were talking about, um, and we wanted to do basically how we get information about, um, for our routes and trains, mm. um, and maybe gig make a, a small interview, just to have it on paper so that someone if people are, have a question you can reference them I think it's um, I have a little bit more free time this week or next week I'm definitely going to focus on that but in the meantime if you pop onto the DTG forums and look for a topic I think it's called DTG when or something useful <laughs> how um, else it could have been called right um, and it kind of evolved into quite an interesting discussion about um, getting access to trains and how it is and what and what's involved and so forth. It's it's quite a uh, seems to be a useful thread. People are appreciating it. So, by all means, jump on, read, add your questions. What's the next package in TSW BVR? Not announced yet, I'm afraid. Twenty-three miles. Well, oh. Gonna take a while. Twenty-three minutes, roughly. Will it? Why do you think it's gonna be twenty-three? You're doing sixty minutes? miles an hour. Is this failed to connect? Oh, we've lost our chat, folks. And almost lost the game. Please come back and live. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Someone say something in the chat. Tell us you're still there. Oh, hello. Oh, good. Would you add every London Underground? I'd love to, but that'd take a while. Yeah, next stream. I can't. I, I, don't, I don't really know. It's definitely not going to be in October. Do you see why? Hmm? Do you see why? There's not going to be any more streams in October. <laughs> There's not many days left in October. Uh, Robert, uh, Marjorison, um, no, there's no passenger service on the street, it's a freight route. So, um, what do you guys think so far about the route and mastery as well? Schnauzer has asked if you can do a full service application on the brakes for a few seconds. Full service application so on the brakes. Cut the power and give it a full service. This, we haven't got anything in the in the plan at the moment for moving the driver point of view. Uh, 
Normally you do a thing called a 14L um, horn application, 70015, which is a long, long, short, long sequence, yes. Okay, good enough. Yep, go for it. Looks great, looks great, I like the looks of it, thank you, quite good, thank you guys, um, I appreciate it, um, as mentioned this is a DTG route, so we are more than happy to hear it, um, especially the guys from the Trans Sim, uh, Trans 2020, who are obviously definitely watching right now. Uh, no, Liam T. We thought about adding the Bluebell line into TS2. It's actually someone's already built it. It's on Steam Workshop for TS1 already. Uh, oh, sorry, not for TS2020, obviously. Um, um, but uh, no, the only preserve railway we've got in TSW at the moment is um, West Somerset Railway. Um, but uh, there's tons of them to do at some point. Have you considered adding driver training scenarios to cover horn usage or stuff like PZB? It's very difficult to do that in active gameplay because. Um, the, if you don't quite get it right, do you stop and start again and it gets very broken experience. Um, whereas a video describing those things is um, probably a more practical way of doing it. Particularly because in order to cover PZB you really need to cover signalling to go with it because they kind of go part and parcel together. And you might have to drive for five minutes to get to the next signal to do something with. Um, so even if you can line the... Um, uh, line up the signals to give you each of the aspects that you want. It's a lot of driving with a little bit of doing what you want to do. Whereas what you want is to watch a video. You could compress it, cut all the bits in the middle out, and and cover that. So we are thinking about how we can do that. We know that a lot of people want um, you know, want some more detailed tutorials on that stuff. So we're trying to figure the right way of doing it. To be honest. Thank you guys for the feedback. Delighted to hear that you liken it. Absolutely. And as mentioned previously, any issues with mastery for our Transcend World fans, um, let us know. Thursday, the the team um, behind it are um, working very hard. They uh, they're very keen to hear all the feedback, including both technical and just general feedback of what you think about the about the whole mastery. Uh, they're very responsive and um, very keen to hear mm. what what you have to say. So are we. It's our job to communicate this information um, from you to them. And um, yeah, you, you know how to get in touch with us. Jay Breeze, actually the thing to do is to look up um, FRA Rule 14 and that will give you all the different sequences because there's one horn for stopping, two long horns for starting, there's long, long, short, long for grade crossings, three shorts for going backwards. There's a, there's a nine or ten, I think, of these rules. But if you just look up FRA Rule 14, it gives you a breakdown of what they all are. I just dodged, dodged the post. When is this route coming out? It's coming out tomorrow, Raptor. Tomorrow, roughly in about 17 hours from now, but um, it's going to be afternoon um, here in the UK. So it's a pre-release stream for you to decide if you in if you're interested. I think this will, this will definitely work very well in your stream, Matt. Oh, of course it will. Oh yeah, you 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 have no PC, right? I have yeah. no PC, yeah. so it so. won't work at all well at the moment. But. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> or are you just rubbing salt in the wound? 
like, but I mean, come cheers. on, it's been uh, so long. It's been like third stream where you're complaining about a broken PC. Yeah, I know. I just don't stop complaining. You know what I'm like. Well, you're a typical British person. So. <laughs> You live along this route, do you, Raptor? Nice. Whereabouts do you live on this route? You're closer to Kansas or Topeka? <coughs> uh, if you mean AI trains and um, BVR, if you look on YouTube, there's videos on how to make your own scenarios. Uh, JJ, this is the uh, the new Kansas, the Granger Heartland route uh, on TS twenty twenty, Kansas City to Topeka. Brand new, coming out tomorrow. Is really so quiet. I think the game sound is turned down, Tordek. That's Billy Leeds there. And have Metrolink to train Sim World or Surfline route. Uh, I'd love to get them in there, get some other stuff in there. I would particularly like the Surfline route. It's a very, very pretty journey. Yeah, so you can get guys this. You can get this tomorrow, guys. Just don't forget, we also actually have a Halloween sale going on right now with a bunch of TSW and TS1 um, add-ons on sale. Roots, slow courses, a bunch of. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, quite a few TS, um, TSW. Um, I, I think even everything up to T's Valley is discounted. So have a look. It only lasts a couple of days, so um, I think I think there's this today and um, no, it ends on the first of November. So yeah, if you're interested in anything else, go to Steam and have a look. JJ, uh, this is GP40-2, and the other loco that comes in the pack is the SD70, I think ACE. Uh, Aries uh, having problem with uh, with them um, download server timeout. Uh, maybe go into Steam settings and try connecting to a different Steam server. Reserving this. Okay, interesting. Uh, Josh Streitenberger, no, it won't go to PlayStation. This is on Train Simulator, not on Train Sim World. So this is not on console. Yeah, sorry, Josh. And um, yeah, I'll just repeat myself once again for the people who are watching through Steam. Uh, we are the developers um, of. Of these two games, Train Sim World and Train Simulator. Well, this is a developer. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just I a work messenger. With the um, yes, and we we had a stream today where we introduced a new thing. It's called Mastery Challenges to Train Sim World. Um, they are basically focused on you completing certain challenges um, around um, you, with routes that you um, should own if you buy the base game of Train Sim World 2020. Um, and you get exclusive rewards such as senior objects and dioramas, and this is just the beginning. You can, you can also, in addition to all that, you can go to a um, dedicated um, page, web page, which has all the stats that uh, many of the stats at least, um, um, from Trains in World, including miles driven, um, and all these interesting stats that you don't often see very often. Often see them. Getting confused uh, at the end of the day now. And um, yeah, and this uh, in the second second part of the stream, we're showing the um, brand new Train Simulator 2020 route, which is coming out tomorrow. And this is Kansas City to Topeka. So yeah, guys, um, we're probably not gonna go till the very end, unfortunately, because um, we're a bit busy and a little bit tired. But um, 
Uh, we're hoping that um, you were not discouraged by the small issue with the scenario that we had. Let's just let's just say I'm to blame, and, um, and my, my my bad driving. I'm happy to blame your bad driving. I know. What do you I think, know. folks? Um, <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for coming in today. Um, as as we mentioned, if you guys have any issues with mastery. Um, please uh, let us know and we're really hoping you will enjoy it and enjoy the new route that is coming out tomorrow and thank you people on Steam as well um, for watching and um, maybe you saw us for the first time we're saying hi and this is your opportunity and to enter the world of train simulators um, and thank you Matt for coming as well That's thank great you for having me I um, mean the streams definitely wouldn't be the same without you so um, no they'd yeah. be much more sensible yeah, yep, yep. All right, thanks guys for watching, and um, we'll see you on the next stream. Take Cheers, care, guys. Bye bye. bye.